Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming. I'm Dell and this is the From the Depths campaign. And it's been a while since I've managed to uh, get a video up. A couple of few reasons, uh, mostly work and uh, personal life based, but also in the game, I've been struggling to get enough resources uh, and defend the base. Had a few upsets when the few first godly designs came uh, across us, such as a a Corsair with a load of red tuna and that did show a big uh, disadvantage in some of my ships towards uh, short range and torpedoes especially. So I've had to do a little bit of reworking. We've then had other setbacks such as groups of Conga and Falkenheims etc um, all coming into the uh, to attack us and each time they do enough damage that any resources I have managed to get back I have had to spend in repairing the, vi the, the base or various ships. I've now got to a stage where I've, I've sort of got enough um, resources and we've got a small little fleet out here which is just about to get attacked here so we just need to bring you back and in actual fact, we're going to go into a battle, I think, with this Falkenheim here. So we can see, basically, what um, we are dealing with. So, what I tend to do now is I use the aircraft, because so, I still like to, the idea of um, having... one large ship which basically um, uh, does most of the work uh, and spawns in the drones so the mothership now has lots of small if I could we will see them aircraft which will go out and attack the enemy um, and also a few little ships and there's a little fleet anyway let's go and have a battle against this Falkenheim I think it's a Falkenheim we're up against Yep, and then you'll see some of the ships which I have built. So let's just start this battle, maximum size, and begin. Let's go and have a look at the Falkenheim, which is a nice little ship. But um, as you can see, we've got some aircraft coming in. These are the Swallow um, attack craft. And going up high are some of my faster, mainly air-to-air type of ships. Let me just stabilize the camera. So if we go and look at the Falkenheim, which is a very interesting build. I do like the Falkenheim. So it has some small small drones of itself and it's basically it's sort of like trying to be a, an airship but it's, it's mainly held up using propellers. But I'd like to sort of duplicate this in some ways. Then we've got our ships coming in. That's the missiles just missed from the Swallow. And they are basically attacking the small ships first. So you can see some of our, our aircraft are circling around the sm their small drones. And that's their primary, to attack the small drones. Whilst the other ships attack the larger vessel. So we've got a few aircraft that fire basically lots of missiles at this moment with some auto cannons and the odd laser as well just to get some extra damage in there. The, lasers, the, the basic laser works uh, against the wooden aircraft and that's the Falkenheim dead and the two small little craft is nearly dead come on are you gonna die come on sometimes getting the small aircraft is a little awkward whoops as it goes into a short nighttime battle come on get that last little that last little drone I have sped up all of the detection systems but it's still just a little too small in some ways. Um, has I died? I think it's, let's just bring up my uh, the window. We've got 
something over this way. Yep, we have finally finished. Okay, let's go back to the base. So, the base. We will just bring everything back to the base quickly. Um, if I just do pull all, I'll bring everything back. So, what we have, we have these aircraft. As I said, there was a... Uh, this is the... Swift, which is basically a high altitude, fast aircraft. Then you've got the Swallow, which just is basically a missile firing attack craft. And this one here, just try to remember the name, the Hornbill, is got torpedo armed mainly against large ships. Um, some missiles as well, but it's, it was mainly designed to, to come in with its auto cannons and fire against large ships. Everything is repairing at the moment, which is fine. Let's just make sure the repairs are on, on all of those craft. There we go. The other element I created was some missile pods. Now these are basically just hold, over here we have some long range missiles and medium range um, air to air missiles, which basically fend off anything getting close to the ship. Most of the work now is done by the aircraft. Um, a, li a small little sub, which I will possibly look into at another point. But we hold off the enemy at longer range. The original monitor and laser ribs are now used to tempt in the craft to bring them into the area at long range. So if I look, um, each time the enemy reinforces an area, I just drag them into our little zone and repair them. Let's just make sure everything is repaired up. Yeah, everything looks repaired up. That's good. So let's, what we'll do is we'll drag in the next little 18 group. And this is basically what I've had to be doing, trying to build up enough resources each time. So as you can see, we're at 2,000, well, roughly 2,000 before this next battle. So let's see what we've got uh, as an attack here. And then I make a decision whether to attack at long range. So we've got a paddle gun, which is, Oh, and what else we got? And we've got something coming in here as well. An atlas. See, the atlas is not a problem. So, the paddle gun can be somewhat of an issue. So, we're going to take the paddle gun out. It's actually a paddle gun can do quite a lot of damage. It's got good um, AA defenses. But what we're going to do is we're going to take out the paddle gun with our aircraft, and hopefully our torpedo planes should do some damage to it. And we won't bring in our little naval force. So, if we begin the battle... Our aircraft all take off. Uh, these little dirigibles here are what I call, I've called them the little laser death seeds. Basically, they're just covered in the basic lasers. Any ship aircraft does get close, they get taken out by these quite well. So let's go and have a look at the paddle gun. So we've got a couple of swallows going ahead. The high flying swifts. Where's that paddle gun? Over this way. You can see the paddle gun's already dropping torpedoes. Now luckily the island will protect us, but I found torpedoes to be very, unfortunately, very effective against me. Um, so our paddle gun prototype, that's not too bad. This one should be, relatively easy so now our drones don't have any um, actual protection against missiles except for their erratic flight which is purposeful now he's got a, a nice little AA guns on here and some missiles so we do tend to take occasionally some some damage Swallows coming in with their, their missiles against the aircraft. Now, we've got the, the Hornbills are low-flying aircraft. You can see they're coming in. There we are. And they've already dropped their... Oh, no, have they not dropped their torpedoes? I don't think they've dropped their torpedoes yet. No, they've not dropped their torpedoes. Oh, there go the torpedoes. Dropped out the rear. And you can see it flies at an angle doesn't go straight over because I want to keep try and keep it at range so it's got a couple of a few large-ish torpedoes 
and then once it gets in range, it should fire off its missiles. And this is basically the type of battles I've had to be fighting. Torpedoes going in, very nice. And lasers and should be a missile strike coming in from some of them. Some little changes sneaked in recently, but it does seem my missiles are have got shorter range. I've had to uh, adjust a, a lot of them. Now, one problem at the moment is they're a little too far away to do good um, resources. If I turn the resources on, you can see the base resources. They're not getting anything from the base at this moment because of the range of the engagement, which does reduce them. So that's a, that's a disadvantage of this system at the moment that I need to look at. Um, they'll share between each other to a degree to keep themselves healthy and ammo uh, but they can't draw on what the base has to to resupply their ammo etc uh, we can see the mini sub actually just is coming in and has decided to launch oh he's getting hit by quite a few of these tor enemy torpedoes by the looks of it which is not good for him but i think he's mostly fired his own torpedoes out and some of these can be are very nasty torpedoes Nice booms from the torpedoes. Oh, one just missed. Right, I need to bring all of those ships back. Let me just get into the right area so if we um, if I just despawn everything that will bring them all back to the ship and that means we've now captured this zone and we'll go into this zone above us and bring that zone out and that means at least we have these three zones so that was a little too far away when I uh, intercepted that to get good resources but if I now bring it back into play So the first thing I've now got to do is, again, repair everything that got damaged in any way. And that leaves us with about 2,000, about 3,000 resources. So certainly not enough to build one of the big 30,000, uh, well, 70,000 resource ships. Now, I could go and capture an enemy ship and I know that's how most people I would advise if you're in in this situation but I decided no that's not going to be the rules I'm going to play this campaign with I'm not doing captures unless they are captured um, not by accident by but you know one of the drones latches onto something and it captures this by not accident but just happens us to get what the game does I'm not going out to specifically go and capture a ship's AI uh, that was one little decision I made on this campaign so let's just do a few of those battles and what I'm thinking at the moment is I'm to extend this this Air Force is doing quite well so I'm wondering whether I should 
concentrate on making a drone air force to go and wipe out and take on this zone over here um, and the further zones of the deep water guard rather than relying on naval ships at this moment until I can get a, a little bit of headway on the deep water guard so that means I need what I need is or will need is like a a motherish type of ship to for these these aircraft um, basically a carrier so maybe I will start having a, a think about that but let's I will go through a few battles and so we'll see if we can get a few ships in so I will cut this video and just show you what ba battles come up from the 30 and the other ones it'll be just a, a bit of a montage of all the battles I've had to go through so see you in a little bit
and after quite a few battles, which I'm sure I've done a little montage of in the uh, editing, showing you some of the ships and what I'm up against, some good points. I At one point I was up to about 25,000 materials, so thinking great, and then along came a, cr a Kraken. Uh, which is one of the really good goldie ships, and that basically wiped out the air, f air force, which was not a good sign. So I had to rebuild all the all of the aircraft, which fairly much wiped out most of the 20k. Then I uh, overstretched myself trying to go for a nice little uh, uh, resource point up there with my naval force, and uh, two co um, I think it was congas basically came from the both sides. And I couldn't actually attack them with the main base. So that wiped out uh, the naval force, which is another 20-odd uh, thousand resources. Oh dear. So, yes, that's what it's. I have been up against um, trying to get through this next day. So I've, I've got some more ideas and what, what I'm going to do. What I need is a more mobile airfield basically to uh, replace the base so we'll have the base have its its actual um, main weaponry but it's not going to be the main force it's going to just be a resource and building area so it can continue to just build up um, uh, materials what we'll do is create a and what it needs to be is a, is a fast carrier for want of a better word, um, a ship able to, or vehicle able to either attack the enemy or get away. So it can either pull them back and, uh, yeah, the first one, the first instance is not necessarily a large vessel, but we can also now then go up into these upper reaches, these upper areas where there are deep water guard and clear them out. I also want to create a naval attack force, which again will be a f sp speedy, possibly a sub actually, um, a little mini sub or two, which can go and harass the deep water guard areas and just keep them having to resupply uh, these areas further away rather than keep on coming to attack the base. Now they don't have to be fairly cheap vessels because I, as you can see, I haven't got many much much material. So um, what we can do is uh, for the air the air carrier is use the aircraft that are already part of the fleet and just reassign them to the um, new carrier. The same with any new little sub we can I, I end up buying building two because these these subs are quite quite good but uh, they're as you can see they're not that nice but they are uh, the reason they're very blocky here is they're actually covered in rubber to make them very stealthy as such uh, stealth doesn't really work in this game so I need to rework and have a bit of a play with that but it does make them very difficult to hit anyway they um, I'm, I can always give these um, for the sub because they're, they're 9,700 each so there's 20,000 resources there to help build any slightly better sub mothership so we're still going to work on drones I think the plan will be to have uh, an aircraft carrier and these drones and the sub equivalent, so we'll have a, a sub carrier with some mini sub drones, and we'll see how that all works out. And that will be in the next couple of videos on building those two, two particular ships. What I will do whilst doing the building videos is continue trying to build up some resources, just go through these little battles, hopefully get uh, um, some more resources. And when we get something small, now, now we've got a a fleet coming in which is going to be quite difficult of Corsair and ransacks and for instance the ransack is very good against the aircraft that really takes out my aircraft Summit Chronic 
but it's not very good against subs, so the subs work with that. Uh, the paddle guns, which we had quite a few fights with, they were also quite good against the aircraft, so I'll have to have a bit of a work on the aircraft too. So, for now, I really hope that um, I can uh, keep this uh, up and running and build up the forces and get those two new ships built so I can push forward away from this, it seems like these four blocks which I seem to be stuck in at the moment purely because of resource. But until next time, keep playing the game and above all, have fun.